Hello guys and welcome to the video showing you how I make my covers. So I know what song I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be doing Ignite from Sword Art Online, so I'm super excited for this because these are like my favourite openings. So I've um, got Superior Drum open here because that's what I use to program drums and programming drums is like the first step and that's what I hate the most. So let's get this out of the way for now and then go on to the fun guitar work. So before actually programming drums, I typically download a piano layout of the song. You can usually download Synthesia layouts of the anime openings just as a reference point if you're not completely familiar with the song yet. And when I'm actually programming drums, I typically watch drum covers of the song. Because I'm not actually a drummer, it's a lot easier for me to see what somebody's doing as opposed to just listening to the mix and programming that way. I'll program in the notes first and then I'll edit the velocities afterwards just to kind of make it sound more human. But this can take anywhere between an hour to two hours. Okay, so I've just finished programming the drums, finally, I hate that part so much. But um, yeah, I've done the rhythm guitar as well, as you can see on there. I've got uh, a quad track rhythm guitar, so uh, as you can see, you can probably hear different tones, like two different tones. I use like one more bassy and trebly and then you kind of mid rangey tone, so it um, really fills it out nicely as opposed to using one tone. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the bass guitar now, so let's pretend to be a four stringer for a while. <laughs> So once I've recorded the physical instruments I will then go and throw a mix over it just so it's alright to listen to and doesn't make my ears want to bleed and then I'll move on to any MIDI instruments such as strings or piano or any synthesizers just to kind of add the final touches to it and then I'll go on to tweaking the mix even further and then mastering it. But this is basically how I do the mix. Also when mixing I typically just use Logic stock plugins but for any instruments that I want to use I use East West instruments because they just sound amazing you get to just get them for a monthly fee. So that's basically what I use. I also use their reverb as well so I just can drench everything in reverb to make it sound really ambient. So that is a wrap on today's video guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this kind of fly on the wall view of how I actually go about recording these covers. But for any of you guys that do want to support me making this my job, because that is my, just, that's just my dream you know, I want to be able to do this full time, that's what I love to do already and uh, yeah, uh, you can support me on Patreon down below, I'll put a card up in one of the corners, well, whichever corner it is. Um, where you can also, if you sign up to become a patron, you get like tabs, backing tracks, MP3s of these covers, the highest quality versions, and you also get early access. You get phone and desktop background. You get a load of cool stuff. So um, yeah, any of you guys that do want to support me the extra little bit, then that is also a way to do it. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Video.